All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back in Tower of Fantasy. All right, the weirdest shit just happened. I don't know what the fuck is going on in the story right now anymore, but they want me to go to High Crows, which is mad fucking far away, in order to talk to Jacqueline. I don't know, like, the actual plot I'm supposed to be doing right now. Black Market Dealer. All right, I think that's what I'm also supposed to do. Where is that? Is that over here? I could do that. Yeah, I feel like I should probably do that. Did I activate this? Space Sith. Space Rift signal station ruins. Alright, let's warp there. I started playing with my nephew years ago, then I started the last month out of nowhere dictating. Sucks about work. Yeah, it happens, but hey, making money. That's all that matters to me. Yeah, my nephew's sick at Fortnite too. I would definitely be the one that needs to get rezzed all the time. Because. My aim is not so true. <laughs> um, let's see. Do I have to do anything with these um, mushrooms? That I'm not sure. In this box, obviously I can. I know I can enter with these types of boxes, but for some reasons I can't with this one. So. Stop crouching. Okay, you see. I gotta remember the controls of this game too. Um, Q? I would definitely, I would definitely play Fortnite with my nephew too, and my brothers. I just don't um, have an account with them. It's a cool game though. It's definitely like it definitely proved itself to be a cool game because at first, like Fortnite was like, okay, yeah, it's cool, it's cool for sure. But like, I wasn't like super like you know sold on it. But now that it has all the clout it could, it could possibly fucking ask for, it's definitely a cool game worth its merit. So if people fuck with Fortnite, that's not even like a that's not even like a weird thing to say. Oh yeah, I play Fortnite and you can play anyone can play Fortnite, so it's great. Okay, I think I gotta do this. Any more mushrooms anywhere? Is that the last mushroom? Or maybe I already did this mushroom? Yeah, I think I already did this mushroom. Hmm. Alright, so I guess we're gonna deal with this black market dealer. Is that what we're doing right now? Got some bad guys over here. These decipher codes take up five now, which is interesting, but I'm not trying to burn all of them either. So I'll try to hold on to at least 20 of them. Alright, have I already been down there? Where am I anyways? I think I've been down here. Okay, yeah, I've been down there. I need to go to that area next. There's nothing in that tube down there with these guys? Okay, yeah.
ever heard of Panther's Ladder, aka Smash Ladder? Um, that's like what the competitive players used to like check out their score, right? Check out this area over there, and then we'll slowly make our way over to this black market drug dealer fucking place or whatever. Yeah, yeah the store in this game is cool. It's it's fascinating and weird in some areas, but I'm definitely excited to see what like they decided to do. And I know it's all gonna be relevant. It's not just gonna be like, oh yeah, fucking um, don't worry about that anymore. It's like, no, that, that has to be somewhat relevant somehow. <laughs> I guess we'll just check out everything on the beaches first. That's a water orb. Is there a water plant right here somewhere? Man, this is a big fucking monster facility. Holy shit. Yeah, I know what Smash Ladder is. I don't really have an account there because I don't play Smash ranked at all, but... I know what it is. MK Leo's number one as always, right? Because he's the best and he's the coolest. You can play as any character, make it look cool. Even the lame ones. Imagine if MK Leo could Minecraft Steve. I would love that. The reputation Steve as a character has in Smash will, will, will become 100% cooler if MK Leo picked him up for no reason. Everybody like, oh, that's that's cool. MK Leo's cool, so Steve is cool. But we've been cooking Steve players for the last fucking year. People are like, oh, so now it's cool to play Steve because it's MK Leo? Yeah, because it's MK Leo. He's the coolest. It's just like, shut up. Cry about it. You weren't cool to play as Steve. You make him look cool. MK Leo did. Crab abundance. Nice. I need to heal. Um, it's been good practice. I don't think Inkley uses it. Oh yeah. Lord, I haven't played Smash. Like the last time I played Smash was last Wednesday, and before that, like way the fuck long ago and shit. But it was fun though. Play some Wii Fit and shit. I probably lost like the grand total of two games and shit. Had like maybe a two or three hour session with Smash. I'm definitely trying to play Smash more often on the channel. But um, I got a thousand other games I need to play too. 
Okay, wait a minute. Back up off of me, you piece of shit. Low up. Alright, what else you got going on right here? A bunch of thugs. Yeah, like I like to make time to play Smash, especially on the channel, because a lot of people like to play Smash on the channel, but I need to play it in like, like, in like small doses basically, because I get, I don't get bored of it easily, I just, I just like get burnt out easily, it's like, okay. I am trying to beat Ring Fit Adventure though, I don't have, I have no idea how many more worlds are in Ring Fit Adventure. I'm trying to beat it. As soon as we're doing Ring Fit Adventure, like, we're still gonna play competitive Smash every now and then. But definitely, like, not nearly as much. It's gonna be a little more fun Smash, I think. I think it's more fun Smash will be better for the channel. At least, competitive Smash is the only fun when people are actually fun to play with and are actually cool to be around. Not a bunch of tryhards that fucking leave after one match and they lost and shit. It's like, okay, dude. You're not gonna learn the Wii Fit matchup if you lose, if you run away after one match. And that's what's kind of boring to me. But it's cool, I win, so it's fine. Oh, wake up. Wake up, lady. before I fight that thing.
sliced and diced them. Alright, let's heal. Um, just Fortnite and Smash for me. There's a ton of games with no time for, for more than those. No, for sure. Like, the last two weeks has been mostly Animal Crossing and Splatoon 3. Especially Splatoon 3. But well, definitely more so Animal Crossing. Just because of the projects I've been working on. But for Splatoon 3, in the sense, we're like, that is just like the game I need to be playing right now, basically. Yeah, it sucks because every time I'm at work, they have another Splatfest and shit. So I'm like, great. I guess I'll just miss every Splatfest because I work. <laughs> I have a I have a life and shit, and I just can't stay home and play video games like every other Splatoon inkling and shit. I have to go to work and be away from home and shit. So that sucks, but Splatoon is definitely the game I'm focusing on hard right now. Um, Animal Crossing because I still I actually enjoy Animal Crossing. I'm really waiting for Zelda Breath of the Wild 2. That's like the main. That's like the next main game I'm gonna be playing on this channel. Final Fantasy is a great way to spend time, even though I'm not trying to burn through it, and I'm definitely like, super slow when it comes to playing this game and getting through it. But I'm. Um, uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild is about to be like, the next main game, along with Splatoon 3. I'm waiting for my brother to get a Switch again so that we can play Pokemon Violet and Scarlet together. I have, I have a copy of Pokemon Violet, and I just haven't touched it yet because my brother wants to play it with, with, uh, at the same time as us and shit. So, I'm just sitting on a copy of Pokemon Violet. What else do I got? I think I have like, other games I can play. Oh god, I have Dragon Quest Treasures I even touched yet. I don't know if I'm waiting to play that or wait for a 12 to come out and I can play that, but I started to play that at the beat in Dragon Quest Builders 2, which I don't even think I'm halfway through that game yet. The story's making me fucking long as shit. And then, um... What else? Dragon Quest Treasures 12 is gonna come out eventually. Breath of the Wild 2, Pokemon One, Violet, Doom 3. Like, I just have a ton of games, and that's not that doesn't even mention all the games on my Switch that are downloaded that I have to play. I have a thousand games I need to play on Switch that are downloaded and shit, but I haven't started any of them because I'm waiting for Zelda and shit. Like I want to start a game that has a story in it, and then Zelda drops, and then I only play that. And then I only play Zelda. When Zelda drops, that's the only game I'm playing. Like, it's gonna be hard to find and be everything without a guide or the internet to really be like, oh yeah, but this has already been solved before, but I'm still gonna be playing the crap out of the game in order to find as much as I can. So, Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 for me is gonna be like, it's gonna take control of my life in May, which I'm okay with because I'm just excited for the game. Oops. All right, let's see. There's something up there. There's something over there. But did I clear this area? I fought every freaking monster. They just keep respawning, obviously. But this thing is hard to unlock for me. Man, there are mad guys around here. It's crazy. I want. Goblin camps, moblin camps, and Breath of the Wild 2 to be like this and shit. Like, I want them to be big, sprawling complexes, dude. Like, that's what I'm waiting for in Breath of the Wild. Sharp Eye 2. You stay consistent on Animal Crossing? Yeah, um, I'm in the middle of a really big project right now. I'm actually almost done. I'm, I'm actually at the decoration phase of the game, of, of the project I'm working on. And I just downloaded the DLC, Happy Home Paradise, to actually play that for once. I haven't yet. But, um, I don't know, I just enjoy Animal Crossing a lot. And I don't know, I mean, like, some people got bored of it and shit, and I'm like, that's fine. But I'm like, dude, I love Animal Crossing. I, like, I mean, this is, my, this is my first one, so I'm just enjoying the game for what it is and shit. And I know a lot of people have their advice about it, but... I, I mean, once I start a game, like, especially a game that I have to, like, log in every day to play and shit, like, those games are hard for me to stop playing and shit. Like, there's not, like, a lot I need to do in Animal Crossing because of the logging in every day and playing, but I just enjoy making my island look as awesome as humanly possible and shit, you know? And that's what I've been working on, basically. Like, I literally spend my free time watching Animal Crossing videos and how people decorate their islands and island tours and shit, and uh, oh, I want to do that too, you know? Like, if you quit Animal Crossing and your island doesn't look fucking awesome, then you just, you failed. You didn't play the game properly. 
It's like, oh yeah, my island looks super basic and shit, but I, I quit. I got bored. It's like, really? You, you, you didn't make your island look as awesome as possible? All the items and shit in this game? All the inspiration on the internet and you didn't make your island look as awesome as possible if you stopped playing it? Like, that's weird, bro. Could not be me, dude. There's not a lot of reasons I stopped playing a game. The only game that I that am actively playing that I haven't played in a really long time is kind of Nikkei, and I'm, I'm ashamed to admit that I haven't been playing Nikkei. And it's because I can only be able to play it when I'm home, and then when I'm home I have a thousand other games I need to play too. So it's hard for me to set my cell phone and play a cell phone game, but I really want to play Nikkei. I just haven't been able to because I got a thousand games to play. I got content to create. I've been playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel like crazy too. Like Yu-Gi-Oh! also has another half of my life and shit. So I, there's so many games I gotta play. Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel, fucking Pokemon, Violet, Animal Crossing, Zelda, eventually Tower Fantasy, Smash on Wednesdays. You know, like there's like a ton of games. Just a fuck ton of games. And I mean, I'm happy I have so many games to play. What else am I gonna do with my life? Fucking, I don't know. I'm trying to read more, I guess, but it's like, you know, I just have a ton of games I gotta play, you know. Tower Fantasy is one of them. I'm trying to catch up to my friends. I wish I could stop playing Smash. That's one nice way I could play Scarlet Slash Violet, but addicted. Hey man, you're doing better than me at Smash. Like I can only play Smash in small doses, doses and stuff. Like I love Smash. What is this big circle? What is this? Do I use a relic here for something? Let's see, what kind of relics do we got? Hmm, I don't know if that did anything. I probably need to be closer to this. Can I even use this relic while inside the water? I don't know. I'll look at it later. When I'm exploring this map, 100% people will say, or someone will say, oh yeah, that circle in the water, you do this. I'm like, okay, great, thanks for the treasure. Thanks for the tip. All right, are we done here? I think we're done here. We got that thing. Where's that other thing? It's over there, I think. We fought all these monsters, so. Yeah, it's something up there that I want. I grab that. We make our way onto the next area. I enjoy grinding. Like, I like, um... Grind, grind training in games, like game experience points, grinding, just constantly killing monsters every day. Like, that's like one of my favorite pastimes. Alright, so I have Revali's Gale. Revali's Gale? Perfect Cypher. Wait, do I have it? Thank you. But yeah. I'm trying to play more Smash. I started a TikTok account. It's not on my personal cell phone, so it's not as cringe as it sounds, but I started a TikTok to see if like how that could help me grow the channel and shit. And um I'm just gonna be posting like old Smash clips on that until I make more ones, more Smash clips. I have I, I think I said this like maybe twenty minutes ago, but I have a whole bot I need to look at from last Wednesday. From last week at Wednesday in order to um get some clips off of it. Alright, what's that over there? It's like a Shake Shack. I got, I got, I got clips I gotta go grab and shit. Anything down here? No? Alright, don't want to fall. No reason. I don't have to. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely trying to play Smash more. It's, it's, it's hard though. It sucks when it starts to feel samey for me. That's why I like playing it in small doses over the course of maybe, you know, taking breaks and shit from it. Let's see, what else we got? There's another monster camp. Got something right here. Let me take this. This is my last perfect purple cipher, so hopefully this is something good. Um, what's that over there? 
it's a dream machine. Sure, let's do dream machine. Yes, I know the, about the dream machine. Thank you. 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 Fuck you. Control challenge using the destination within the time limit. It's the platforming. Alright, I remember this one. Oops, don't wanna fall. Challenges. I'm quite a strong monster. Where are all the monster fights at? Where's the space magical doors at? I need a space door. I need a space griff. I want to fight some strong ass monsters, dude. I want to challenge myself. Alright. What else is going on around here on the small little island? Ooh, we got a little secrets. Black nuclei. Not bad, not bad. Almost about to get our. Five gold nuclei. Oh, was I spotted? Hmm. Are these water orbs? Is there a water orb somewhere? Oh, I see a fucking nuclei. Oh, nice. Razor Warrior. What's in here? Right on, dude. Cool. Found that. Nice little airy air. Okay. This is where the uh, black market thing is. Why did Dr. Queen? Wait a minute. Oh, this is the black market. Alright, well, we're gonna make our way over there. We're just like kind of rotating around. We're just kind of rotating around. Alright. Where do I go next? Do I return to the mainland? Ow, sorry. Sorry. I mean, a fall. I mean, take fall damage there. All right, what's behind this uh, mountain? Rain Collar Island. Where am I? Good morning. Overpower Chief. Am I in uh, another region right now? I should probably check out that I killed this guy. So I want to grab whatever item is around here and leave. Make like a tree and leaf. 
Is that a secret boss spot over there? That looks like a big... Yeah, that, that has to be a secret boss. I think serious. Um, or world boss, rather. Snail. That's what I'm looking for up this mountain. Alright, let's see. That was up that mountain. Alright, well, we're gonna turn back then. Let's Whoa! My bad. <laughs> Alright, let's turn back. Ooh, looks like nuclei. Oops, sorry. Oops, sorry. Sorry, young lady. Oh god, this thing has a recharge for 70 seconds. Alright, well, why don't we warp right here? And then we'll make our way back around this area. Alright, man, I'm gonna head out. Alright, Migo, thanks for hanging out, man. It's nice seeing you again. Hope you have a great rest of your weekend and night. <sighs> um, this time I'm gonna be live. It's gonna be sometime in March. <laughs> okay, so then I'll see you around. Uh, hope you uh, have a good, good uh, start of your year and a great February, bro. Thanks for hanging out, man. Alright, where was I? Alright, we're gonna head north. Did I check out this monster base? I don't think so. Hey guys. Yaha the Mad. Mad King Narza. What are you?
what we got? This is not active. That is a dream machine. Hello. I love my big badass ice sword, dude. Throw something at me. You better maintain lone tones when you're talking to me. Fuck around, you see, bass smothered. Choke you the fuck out like I'm a D ass brother. Alright, welcome to our company issue dream machine. Thank you. Thank you. Yahoo. We got memory challenge. Match all the holograms within the time limit. All right, little pumpkin guy, cat guy. And little robot guy. Little fox guy, little crab robot guy, little girl, uh, bunny. Jesus Christ, how many models are there? Just it's fucking like. <laughs> I went through eight characters, probably found a match. <laughs> Alright, pumpkin guy. Uh, another little girl. Alright, that is that guy. That looks like a fucking radish. It's a little girl. It looks like this little oops. No, nope, wrong. Again, cat dude, is it this one? Little girl. Let's see. Uh, I don't think I need to bite you guys anymore. I think I got everything I need. But let's see, where are we? We're right here. We're trying to head north, so let's climb up this mountain. Stuff here on this plateau. The Great Plateau. The Indigo Plateau. Nothing. Nothing up here. A note. Got a little monster camp over here. Put that on a sec. Got these little lightning orb guys. 
Here's this guy with his fucking robot. Where's your robot? Um, he's probably right here somewhere. He's around here. His robot can't be too far away. It's crazy how close I am, I always am to the actual town of Bengas, even though I'm like trying to travel as far as I can and explore everything. It's like, oh no, the town's right over there. It's like, really? I'm not that far away? Sheesh. I've been traveling for hours. <laughs> Is that another dream machine? Um, let's check out the rest of this area real fast and then we'll do that dream machine. I, I love how there's like just so much shit in this game that there's there's never nothing to do in this game. Like this, like I haven't even touched the, scratched the surface of what's in this game. I'm just playing the story right now. But I'm caught up on fucking anything that the developers made and shit. I can do everything else and shit and really only focus on that. Is Ketos. All right, cool. Look out, Ketos. He was easy. Dream machine. Dream machine. Yes, please. Power challenge. Feet enemies on the field within a time limit. All right, here we go. This fucking bulk in order's name is.
This guy is way bulkier than he was before. I'm hitting him with my fucking ice weapon, which should definitely be fucking dicing him right now, but he's just like being real stubborn, not dying. I guess I wasn't trying to take him. Let's see if we can upgrade our uh, ice weapon. We can go all ice on him. Absolute zero. I've got to have this. Alright, well, let's see if I can do this this time. Um, I don't really know if I have any food that like busts me, increases damage, ice damage or anything like that. So let's try again. I think it's gonna be the same challenge. It should be the same challenge, right? Mean to do this at all. Fucking bastard has me in the fucking corner.
can move my strong arms to take this guy. It's so weird. I can definitely, I definitely know I can beat him. Weapons. Mm, probably, something I would ever need. I had a slew of good ass ice weapons and still can't fight level 47 Vulcan or whatever. Alright. Um, we're gonna mess with that later, but we're gonna leave this area for now. And um gotta fight this dream sequence another day hopefully stronger <laughs> all right where am i all right there's a tower right here just need to activate so after we do that we can end this video because this video is getting a little long and i feel it how long this video's been an invisible bear or something. All right. I mean, that's base riff. This is um, Jaqueen, right? And Cool. All right. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna continue rotating around this area, slowly make our way down here, and then we'll eventually we'll come back here. We're definitely trying to finish up this upper half of the area because we haven't really touched the bottom half like that, like that. So um, we're gonna do that and then um, just keep on the adventure, you know. So with that, we're gonna end this video there and um, start another one real soon. Guys, I hope this was a great day. Like the video if you liked it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.